Yo, what's up? This is the Kinky Kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is the Kinky Kid, man. West is best. And um, this is my second channel. I also have another channel for the grown folks, um, the Kinky Kid. But the Kinky Kid TV, we have a segment uh, that we're going to do called 70s, 80s, 90s. Being that I'm a 35-year-old black woman. This is Sweet B, and I'm 25. Ellie, my mom, I'm 16. So we decided that we'll come together and give our input on different situations and things that's going on. Um, are going on. So the first thing we'd like to talk about is um, what we want to talk about, Ellie, my mom. Uh, the prom situation. The prom situation. What, what about the prom situation, Sweet B? Um. Well, there's this um. This, this thing in the news they're talking about uh, these two well it's actually it's this lesbian couple that uh, wants to attend prom together it's their senior prom and they only one of the girls is a senior oh. well the senior girl she wants to be do all the prom activities or whatever the, the senior activities and one of them is well she has a girlfriend now and she wants to um bring her to prom with her as well and they want to do the the whole thing as far as the suit and the well one wants to wear a suit and she wants to wear a suit and the other one wants to wear her dress and everything I mean it's just going to be carried out in a normal way but it's just that it's too late it's less too late man. what happened mama? um <coughs> what happened Ellie Momo <laughs> yeah so the school says no, the girls can't go together, and the girl who wants to wear a tux can't wear a tux. And so the girl decides to take matters into her own hands, and she sues. And once the lawyers and stuff get involved, the school just decides to cancel the prom altogether. And how do you all feel about it? Why? You're going to take prom away from everyone. I mean, how are you going to take prom away from her? Now, this is happening in uh, a city in Mississippi, and um, <laughs> Ellie Momo is not a lesbian. No, I'm not. <laughs> but she's uh, LGBTQT friendly. Considering she's my mother. Considering I'm her mother, and that's my girlfriend. And we decided <laughs> we decided to speak on this because she actually brought it to my attention because she had heard it on the radio. Now, I myself being in that lifestyle, I was not yet introduced to that lifestyle as a teenager, but Sweet B was. And Sweet B, did you go on your prom? No, actually I didn't. Why not? It was just a, a choice, just a personal choice. But you would have took a girl if you could. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't ever told that I couldn't either. Um, so, unless I had been told otherwise, I would have just, you know, carried out my prom in a normal way. I just would have went to prom with my date, have, have it be a male or a female. Right. I'm, we're, we're, we're in Chicago, and I know when I was in school, we couldn't do same-sex uh, prom dates, but that was a long time ago. And I, I wanted to wear a tux. Uh, to prom, and they wouldn't even let me wear a tux to prom, bringing a boy. So I do know that schools do have certain issues, but it's 2010, and I feel like the school is wrong, and they say that the city, the town that they live in, is kind of divided because so many seniors now are going to miss their prom, and everybody is attacking this young girl. And I don't think she did anything wrong. I think, you know. I think the school needs to uh, reconsider and let the whole school go on prom and let the girl date. How can you judge somebody by their sex, uh, not their sex, but their sexuality? Is that the right word? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think it's really unfair for them to not let this girl, uh, the whole senior prom, you know, get canceled just because she wants to bring a girlfriend. And I bet she's not the only gay person. I just wanted to talk about that. Uh, how would you feel if some lesbians wanted to go to prom at your school, Ellie Momo? Well, I do know a gay girl, um, but she's going in a dress, um, and she's taking a boy who also happens to be gay, and they're going to meet up with their boyfriend and girlfriend after the prom. 
Okay. Um, that's a good idea too. So gay teenagers, you can take a gay person with you of the opposite sex. You all go together and and do it like that. Now I don't know if he goes to our school, but um. I mean, right. or if you have a gay friend that goes to the school, you all hook up, go, and bring each other's dates, and then when you all get exactly. there, swap. You know what I'm saying? Learn the system. I mean, the school Nobody can't do anything about that. Once you, you get there, you pay for it, you're there. <clears throat> yes, we're giving you all that idea if you all haven't already thought about it. Uh, you know, act responsibly, you know, tame your behavior and whatnot. Yeah. You know, don't cause a disturbance, something that might get you kicked out. I think a girl in a tux is sexy, so I'm sorry if they won't let you wear the tux. I, you're a cute girl. I bet you would have looked really good in the tux. Uh, but, we're, I mean, we just wanted to speak on that. We, you know, we really think that that's unfair. If you happen to be a gay teenager and you're in this situation, if you know other people that's in your same class of you that's gay, maybe you should talk to a little gay boy and you all can get together and bring each other's dates and do it like that. Uh, sometimes to beat the situation, you have to play the game. You understand? So... Um, like I said, this is a new segment we're going to do called 70s, 80s, 90s. If you have any oh, issues. Um, if they have, like, any, if they have any questions, comments, concerns, as far as if their school may, oh, okay, do it. may or may not have different, uh, restrictions as far as, uh. Find out in advance. Right, find out. Maybe it's something that they can do. Because, you know, not, not, not a lot of people know, which is why they feel as though they can be. Right. Now, I know. Whitney Young in Chicago, that they have an LGBT organization. It's a lot of high schools now that are supporting the LGBT movement. Probably to the LGBT -ers, LGBTQ tiers. Um, yeah, question. There's a lot of people out here, now. a lot of schools and stuff are uh, getting the little organizations. You even have jobs now that have LGBTQT organizations. So, like Sweet B said, beforehand, maybe you can just go ask around and find out what's the policy of your school. And if they say that you can't bring a same-sex date, find another. Then maybe you can take matters into your own Take matters into your own be hand. Because it, and now, right what I don't get is, can other seniors now decide to sue the school because how they just don't take away their prom. So, you know. Something to be considered. Right. That's a good point, too. Because that's unfair to everyone else. How? Right. What is, why does everyone else? Right. Why does the fact that she likes girls and she wants to bring her girlfriend to our prom cancel out so our true. whole prom? Why don't you all just say public event? I mean, you know, it's free it's school. How about no more school? Period. How about because two girls want to go on prom together? Why should everybody should just be dumb? Let's just cancel school. Sounds like so. a plan. They shouldn't even be uh, taught together because Can't. that's. That's sending a mixed issues. Right. Know. They don't know how to First of all, I, I applaud that young lady for being and knowing who she is at a young age to her and her sophomore girlfriend. And I'm sorry that you have to go through this, but know that everybody in the world does not agree with the little town in Mississippi that you live in. And we we really hate that you have to go through that. And I hope something is resolved or done so you all can enjoy your senior prom. I think everybody should experience senior prom. Um I just think everybody should enjoy and do senior prom. <laughs> Period. Right. Hands down. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can email us at thekinkykid at ymail.com. Or you can send a message to taste like good at gmail.com. Okay. Don't message me. <laughs>